GCPs, ground control points. Do we really need them to make accurate contour lines with the drone? Or is that just a lie that we're told by companies like Emlid or Pix4D just so they can sell a product? Well, today I'm going to show you the truth. Over the last six months, we have conducted dozens of flights just to determine how much GCPs actually factor into the accuracy equation of that data from your drone. Also, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you'll get notified when we put out new content. Do I even need to say that anymore? Oh yeah, one more thing. In this video, we're just referring to GCPs. We'll talk about aerial RTK accuracy another time, but for this video, we're only comparing the drone data with and without GCPs. So if you don't want to wait till the very end, you absolutely, without a doubt, 100% need GCPs if you want accurate contour lines. But let me show you what I mean. In order to make this video as short as possible, I'm going to just show the most relevant data. So first I'll add the orthomosaic so that we can overlay the contour lines on top of this and be able to see the land underneath. Now I'll add the first layer, which is the contour lines that were created from a flight at 400 foot above ground level. I'll drop that in and then I'm going to change the color of the contour lines just to make it a little bit easier to see. And then next I'm going to add the contour lines from the flight that was 300 foot above the ground level. And then of course last I'll add the flight at 200 foot AGL. All right, so as you can see, all of the contour lines from these three flights these are pretty much on top of each other in exactly the same place. Now, these are all created with GCPs. So if I zoom in real close, you can see that the lines are on top of each other, but they're just a little bit off. There's several reasons that that happens. Uh, one of them is because if I don't pick out the exact same point on the GCPs, that can cause some inaccuracies. So that's just one reason that this stuff uh, happens like this. There's other things that occur as well, but that's the one that uh, is the most easily controlled. You just make sure you're picking the same exact spot in every image. All right, now let's take a look at the contours before the GCPs were added. So first I'll put in the 400 foot flight. Next I'll put in the 300 foot flight. And then finally, the 200 foot flight. So as you can see, each one of these flights created different contour lines. That's just from changing the altitude. So one of the things that we noticed is that every change that we made also made changes to the contour lines. The only thing that made the contour lines stay in the same place was when we added GCPs. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope that you found the information helpful.